Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So happy Thursday, I hope everyone is having a great week. So today I'm excited, we're gonna go through and do a beginner's starter kit with all drugstore stuff. So I know some people are just getting into makeup and you don't wanna splurge on high-end makeup. So I thought I'd put together a drugstore full face. You can get a full face out of all of these products, um, but they are all drugstore. So I thought I'd just put together a kit for people who are just beginning in makeup and want to get a feel for everything. So if you could, make sure you like this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload. And yeah, let's just get into this drugstore starter kit. Okay, so I'm gonna try and go in the order. I'm gonna try and think about the way that I do my makeup and I'm gonna go in that order because it's a lot of stuff in front of me. So I don't wanna get lost or be all over the place. So I'll make sure also that I link everything that I'm talking about down below so you'll be able to check it out after the video is over. So first I start with brows. That's the first thing I do when I do my makeup. And I just do my brows first because um, it's just the easiest thing to do. I don't know. It's just, I don't, you don't necessarily, there's no right or wrong way to do your makeup in whatever order. Whatever order you want to do it in is fine. Um, but I just always do my eyes, my eyebrows and my eyes first. But I do wait, I do use a brow gel and I wait to after I set my makeup to put that on because my brows do get, they'll get a little powdery and a little um, ashy after you put on your powder to set your face. So, so I think some of the products I do have two different options, but they're both, like I said, they're both drugstore. So for brows, I have the ColourPop Brow Boss and the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So these are the two that I use the most. So this one's the ColourPop one and this one is the um, NYX one. Um, these are the two that I use the most, like I said. Um, I have them in, one is in soft black and one's in Nexpresso. I have really dark brows, so I use like the darkest. I don't use black, but I use the darkest shades that these come in. Um, these are just really good. They're really creamy, easy to work with. They stay on all day. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I love these too. So these are my go-to that I use on a regular basis. And honestly, I wouldn't splurge on a high-end brow pencil anyways, because there are so many and you don't have to have these, this particular brand. There are so many good ones out. Um, these are just my two go-tos. But like I said, a lot of drugstore brands have, um, really good really good brow products but brows are a must for me so i'm gonna sit this off to the side so i won't so after brows i do my eyeshadow so first things first is well i do carve out my brows but i'll do the concealer when i do the face so um one thing i do use which is a must if you want your eyeshadow to stay all day, if you don't want it to crease, you don't want it to rub off easily, you need a um, eyeshadow primer. And the one I use is a NYX Proof It Primer. I have talked about this in almost every one of my videos. This is a staple and a must. Like I said, if you want your eyeshadow to stay all day, this is a must. So this is what that looks like. And I just have the transparent one. And they also have, a, I don't know the difference between the transparent one and the clear one. I mean, to me, that, that would both be clear but but yeah this is the one that I use and like I said it's NYX so this one stays makes my eyeshadow stay all day I never have any problem with it creasing or coming off is that one's great so after I do that eyeshadow so of course eyeshadow is not a necessity um, I wear it sometimes and uh, sometimes I don't but there are I was going to give you like three different types of eyeshadows I have a, a small one a medium size one and a large one but they're still drugstore um, they're all ColourPop ColourPop is one of the most affordable brands that but and it has really really good quality eyeshadows I don't think I've used an eyeshadow that I did not like I know with some drugstore brands um, some of the eyeshadows are hit and miss I know NYX is a big one some of the eyeshadows are good sometimes some of them aren't elf has gotten really good um, about their eyeshadows I think their eyeshadows are pretty um, you like they're good all, all over the board but these are just my favorite ones so I have nude mood so this one is just a nine pan eyeshadow palette and this is what this one looks like 
So, and there they have so many of the non-pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, that's just, these. this is just one of my go-tos because it is nude. If I do want to put on some eyeshadow, most of the time I do a nude look and this one's amazing. Also, I've been loving the Wild Nothing palette. This one um, is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. So these are all, of course, the three, these are three different price ranges, but they still are a drugstore. So this one's also a good one. This one has some pops of color, but this one's also a neutral one, which is what I go to. So that's another one. And then if you want a little more variety, I would go to the big palettes. Um, I think these are what? 32 eyeshadow, 32 shades, I think it's in this one. 30, 30 is in this one. Sorry, I had to count. But, <laughs> but yeah, this one's um, a little bit more pricey, but like I said, it's still, to me, it's still in the drugstore price range. You're not paying 40, about 40, $45 for the eyeshadow palette. Um, but this one's amazing. Like I said, you get all of these shades in one palette and it's just a variety. They also have a, they do have a more neutral one too that I gravitate towards too, but this one I just thought I'd grab just to show you the different sizes. But I would, I would only recommend to start just one eyeshadow palette. Um, I mean, obviously you can get more, but I would recommend a smaller one, a smallest one and working your way up. But these are the three, the, the, you see the different sizes. But I would definitely recommend an eyeshadow. Put these back here. So next, after I do eyeshadow, I do liner. I can't find one that compares to this one. Um, this is the CoverGirl Major Matte Black um, eyeshadow. Eyeliner, excuse me, not eyeshadow. Um, but this one, my biggest thing is a lot of them work well, but they don't dry down matte. I love a matte, matte eyeliner. This one goes on very, very shiny, but as soon as it dries, it is so matte. And that's what I really love about this one. So I haven't found one yet that compares to this one. If you all know one, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But this one's, um, this is a staple that I use almost every day. So uh, liquid liner is a must to go because this, it just makes wings easy. Um, I don't know anybody who uses a pencil eyeliner on their top lids, but Yes, this is definitely a must. Eyeliner, then mascara. In my, I'm going through in my head the process of how I do everything. Any of the Essence Lash Print, the brand, the Lash Princess um, mascaras are good. I just have the false lash effect. All of them do something different. So I guess just look at the packaging and see what they do. This is just my favorite right now. Um, this one and this one works well on my upper lashes and on my bottom lashes and I think I like this one because this one's a false lash effect so my bottom lashes are non-existent so this what the this one makes them look like I have bottom lashes which I do but they just you know they're and it doesn't the wand's not too big so it's easy to get on my bottom lashes and not get the mascara on my eyes so mascara this is and I don't think I yeah I don't have this is just my favorite at the moment. Like I said, there are other mascaras that work well too, um, but that's just the one that I'm using right now. So mascara is a must for a starter kit. Let's see what is next. After mascara, then I start with my face primer. So I use, I double prime, I use a primer spray, which is also a setting spray and a primer. You don't have to use both. I just use both because my skin is extra dry, so I double prime. But the two that I've been loving, but you need one or the other. If you want your foundation to stay on all day or even have a chance of staying on day all day, you need a primer. So it can be mine, I always you go I always gravitate towards a hydrating primer, but this also they also have an illuminating primer and then a matte primer in this brand also. So this is the Hydrating Face Primer uh, Paradise Prime by BH Cosmetics. So like I said, a primer is a must. I use that and I also spray, I spray my face first and then I use that, but I spray my face with the Milani. This one's the Kiwi, Kiwi, yeah, Kiwi Watermelon, the Fruit Fetish Make It Last Setting Spray. Now the scented ones are great, but all, the regular ones work just as well. They'll make your foundation last all day. So like I said, I will repeat primer and then setting spray are a must. So this is what I put on after I finish my makeup also. 
um, before I do my lips, but after I finish everything, I put this on. So both of those work amazing. Foundation. So this is this is not considered high end. There are I have two I have two of them. So they're two different price ranges, but they're still both considered drugstore. Um, so I have the um, Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation, and then I have the ColourPop Pretty Fe Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. So these are the two foundations um, that I would recommend. Both of them are great. I think this this one's more expensive than this one, but they're still, this one's $20 and this one's cheaper than, than that. So that's the most that you're gonna spend on the foundation. But I would recommend either one of these. Um, this one, like I said, one is a hydrating foundation and one is a matte foundation. So depending on which one you prefer, I prefer, I love this, but of course I prefer a hydrating foundation when my skin is really dry. But both of them are amazing. Both of them will last all day. Um, they're both great, so I recommend both of those. For concealer, I have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. So I also use, I do also use the ColourPop concealer. So either one of those concealers are great, but this one's just, this one's 16 hour wear. So if you are starting, I would recommend this one over the ColourPop one. They're both amazing, but like I said, this one is 16 hour wear. Now I would not recommend you wear your foundation and concealer for 16 hours, but if you had to, this would last for 16 hours. So this one's great. Let's see, then setting powder. So I just picked this up a couple weeks ago and I have been using it almost every day since. This is the Milani Translucent Banana Make It Last Setting Powder. And this is what this looks like. Setting powder also is a must. Well, for me, it's a must. Um, just because my I get I crease really bad around my smile lines and um, my, my forehead and then under my eyes. I just have wrinkles under my eyes, so I crease really bad. If you have dry skin, I have dry skin, but I'll still crease. Um, you may not need a setting powder, but if you have oily skin, you definitely want a setting powder because this will keep you from getting oily for the rest of the day. Like I said, I don't. if I didn't set my foundation, I don't think I would get oily for the rest of the day, but um, I still like to set it because that's just part become part of my routine. But yeah, a setting powder is a must because that will, like I said, help your foundation stay all day, keep from creasing, and yeah, so I recommend that one. After I set, oh, I forgot, I did have a cream product. So cream products, you want to make sure you put your cream products on before you put your powder products on. I'm not saying that you can't do it after the fact, but it's gonna be a little harder to blend it out if you put a cream product on after a powder. So I have two blushes. I have a cream blush and a powder blush. So I have the Milani Cheek Kiss blush. Any color that works, um, any color that you like will work. I just love this particular brand and this particular um, cream blush. And then Milani, like I said, any of the colors. I think I know I have Luminoso, but I know that uh, that this one's a popular one. So this is what this one looks like, Luminoso, and it's got some sheen to it. So a lot of times when I wear this, I don't put on highlighter because it has the nice fresh sheen to it. So that one, and then like I said, the cream blush. I would recommend either one of those if you want to try out cream blushes. Then I would recommend these because they're easy to work with. They're easy to blend out. You can't really mess them up. Um, I just dab it on. I actually dab it on my face and then blend it out. They blend out really easily. It's, it's flawless. It, you really can't mess this one up. So that's if you want to try a cream blush, but if you don't, then I would recommend the, any of the Milani uh, baked powder blushes. Blush and then highlight. So this was, well, bronze. Let me do bronzer first, actually, because I have two bronzers. So I have the e.l.f. Press Mineral Bronzer. And it looks like this. That's what that looks like. And this one has a little bit of, I like to bronze with this, not contour, because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So this is good for all over the face, bring back some life to your face. And then I also have the Belgian Waffle Six Color Baked Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. So these bronzers up here at the top are very very good um would i recommend one over the other one it just all depends on your preference this one's a little bit more subtle so if you're not looking for a whole lot of bronzer 
but you're looking for a little bit of color, then I would recommend this one. But if you're wanting a little bit more of a bronzy look, then I would recommend the elf one because this one's a little bit more pigmented. Um, so it, a lot more com comes off. Now don't use too much. I, I recommend you, you know, I'll do a little and just add to it. But um, yeah, if you want more of a bronze look, then I would recommend this one. Now highlight. So you can always get single highlights, but I recommend like a highlight. I have, I have the trio. So this is the Milani um, Stellar Lights in Rose Glow. And this is three just because you can use them for highlights. You can use them for inner corner. Um, you can use it for highlight. You can use it for inner corner highlight. You can use it for brow bone highlight. You can use it as an eyeshadow. So for a beginner, this is really good because it, you can use it for more than just one thing. So that's why this is what this looks like. Just like this is my shade. This is my go-to shade, the one in the middle. But this one I tend to use as an eyeshadow and this one I tend to use as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. That way, if you don't want to use eyeshadow, you know, you're traveling and you don't want to use eyeshadow, but you want to just take as little as you as you can, then this works for more than just one thing. So that's I would recommend that one. Now, let's see, after I do my highlight, then I did my set my face. So, I am I love nudes, so any type of uh, nude lipstick works for me. If you want a color, then that's fine. But I uh, go for the Essence This Is Nude. So, this is my go-to nude lipstick in Legendary. That's what this looks like. I have it on my lips today. It's just like my lips, but better. And an alternative to that is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy. And this one I have in Cool Intentions. These are good too. These are really creamy. They don't feel, I don't know if they, I don't think they're uh, matte. Yeah, they're a cream. They're cream. So they're really creamy on the lips. This one's really good. So I would recommend, even if you do colored, uh, if you don't do a nude, if you do a color, I would recommend either the Powder Puff because they come in different colors or I would recommend the, this is, it is, the brand is called, or the line is called This Is Nude from Essence, but they have other colors. They don't just have nudes. They have other colors. So I would recommend one of these um, because these are very, very reasonably priced and they're very good. Like they, of course they won't last through eating, but they'll la they last a really long time. So I'll, I have said this before, but every girl needs a clear gloss. I have two options. These are the two that I love the most. So I have the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine Wet, Wet Look Lip Gloss. That's a mouthful. And then I have the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss. So these are the two. So this is, I'll show you the, I use the Essence one more um, just because the, I love the ColourPop one, but it has a, a menthol feeling to you so it's cooling on the lips and sometimes I just prefer just a gloss that doesn't feel like that so this is what my what mine looks like mine's kind of it's because I use this on top of everything but this is what and my words are gone off of mine so this is what a brand new one looks like so I def definitely recommend a clear gloss because you can put it on top of anything but if you do want a colored gloss I would recommend the ColourPop Luxe gloss um, this one is just in come through but these remind me of the Fenty gloss bombs they sm these smell amazing they work just as good and just as good if, if not I'll say if not better but they do work just as good as the Fenty gloss bombs and that's what they that's what these remind me of so any of the Luxe glosses from ColourPop are really good if you're just wanting a gloss instead of a lipstick I would recommend those so chapstick or lip balm um, I would recommend the menthol lip shines from Bath and Body Works these are really good if my lips are chapped but I don't want to put on if I but I don't want to use um, a lip gloss or a lipstick so I would recommend uh, any type of lip gloss it can be drugstore it can be high-end but like I said um, I recommend this one and this one's amazing and it's very affordable so, did all that set my face so 
last two things that I, well before I do my lash line before I do my lower lash line so after that I set my brows and I use the ColourPop brow boss gel and this is a must if you actually do your brows because this will make whatever brow product you use it'll make it last all day but it won't make your brows dry and crispy and feeling like they're they're stuck in one spot they, they still look like they still look flawless so this is one I definitely recommend for that. But setting your brows is definitely a must if you even do your brows. And then I have two different eyeliners. So I have the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. So this is just my go-to. I use a nude liner in my waterline just to make my eyes look more awake. But if I'm going for a more, more sultry look, then I'll use a black liner and I have the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in After Dark. So any ColourPop cream gel liner is amazing. Uh, it doesn't matter what color they are. They have every color in the rainbow, black, white, cream, and, all, and everything in between. So I would recommend either that one or the Milani, the Milani ones. Now, if you want one that has more variety of colors, the ColourPop one def definitely. I think the Milani one only has like four colors, four or five colors, but this one has a whole lot. So I would recommend that. And I think that is everything. So that's all of the drugstore products that I think are essential for a beginner. Um, if I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, I think that's everything. So I hope you have a great rest of the week and I will see you guys in my next video. Just Bye. want to dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Stay the night and we leave when it's light Nothing wrong, it's alright with you